Hi everyone! In this video we are going to take a look at some new products by Neutrogena, a drugstore, makeup brand, and skincare brand that I don't cover a lot on this channel. I think mostly because a lot of the items they bring out to the market just aren't as flashy as with some other drugstore brands. They're actually more everyday products that ironically I have a lot of favorites in this brand but I just don't feature it on my channel because they don't have that kind of limited edition type of marketing like some other brands do. But all that said, they do have these new single eyeshadows that have really just launched. The only way you can really get it right now I think is through CVS.com online. I haven't yet seen them in stores. Of course that depends on when you see this video. It may be out at your local CVS by the time you see this video and I would also expect that they be released at other drugstores as well as places like Target. They also will be available through Amazon's website if you wish to purchase it through there. They're not yet quite available or ready for purchase, but they will be in probably a couple of weeks. As always, please see the description box below for a couple of things. One, a link to where you can purchase these now if you would like to purchase them soon. I'll put a link directly to where you can find them on the CVS website. CVS's website is not the easiest to navigate and to find these may be a little bit of a hassle, so I'll link directly to the exact uh, page that you can find these on. There will also be a link to a website called Ebates if you aren't already a part of that program. They allow you to get cash back on pretty much any online purchase that you make. And of course CVS regularly runs things like buy one get one half off or buy two get the third free, those kinds of sales, so that if you buy multiple of these shadows then you can get a discount on your overall total. Please check out the video for affordable gift giving ideas for this holiday season if you haven't already. I focus on beauty adjacent products in that video, meaning not directly makeup products, but more products that are in the world of beauty, but that are very flexible so that you can give them to men or women or people of all different kinds of preferences, skin tones, skin types, things like that. And they are almost all under $20, so they are very high quality and nice gifts, but they will be affordable. And if you haven't seen the video reviewing Target Beauty, meaning Target's own brand of beauty products that have just launched, there's a really long video on that because I not only cover a bunch of products, I also apply them in real time and give you my thoughts, and I do separate swatches for every single one of the shades of every single product that I show you, then give you a review at the end. So if you want a very cohesive, in-depth review of a lot of new beauty and makeup from Target, I will link that in the upper right-hand corner for you to see. All right, let's get to swatching these new eyeshadows from Neutrogena. So these eyeshadows, there are a total of six shades. Now, they don't really have a special name, but the way you can distinguish them from other eyeshadows in Neutrogena's line is these are one single panned, and they all have included in the ingredients vitamin E. The other thing to note about these is that they are divided into three different finishes. So there's two colors in each category of finishes. There are two matte shades, two satin shades, and two shimmering shades. On CVS's website, these retail for $9.99 each, of course, before any sort of discount is applied. CVS also has a pretty good beauty rewards program. It has a rewards program in general, but they have a lot of beauty related coupons and points that you can earn if you have a CVS card. So if you're not part of that program, you should also check that out. As you can tell, these are very neutral shades for an everyday look. So what I'm also going to do in addition to the swatches that I usually do, if you wait till after the swatches, I will also show how these apply in real time to make an actual look with the shades. The description by Neutrogena is pretty straightforward. It just says these are highly pigmented and infused with antioxidant vitamin E. They're supposed to be easy to apply with a brush or your finger. And the formula is supposed to not crease or transfer and build and blend easily. This first matte shade is called Toasted Eggshell. The second matte shade is called Dusty Mauve. 
This first satin shade is called Desert Rose. Fortunately came crumbled in the mail. The second satin shade is called Bronzed Leather. The first shimmer shade is called Silk Stone. And the second shimmer shade is called Burnt Sienna. And a quick look at the packaging before we jump into swatches. So these are the compacts. You can tell the differences between the shades just by this um, indication up here on the face of the pan. It'll say matte, satin, or shimmer. The compacts themselves are a little large. Um, they were larger than I expected when I saw them on the website. So they're, I wouldn't say quite in the area of bulky, but they are bulkier than I think they need to be and thought they would be. And they just snap closed. So we'll start with Toasted Eggshell, which is a matte cream shade. Dusty Mauve, which is exactly how it's named. It is a matte dusty mauve color. Desert Rose, which is a shimmering mauve brown with a satin finish. Bronzed Leather, which is a medium to deep brown with a satin finish. It's a bit on the cool side. Silk Stone is, I would say this is more of an eggshell color as opposed to the first shade and this is supposed to have a shimmering finish and last up is burnt sienna this is a medium brown supposed to have a shimmering finish and is a cool toned brown all right, so there are the six shades just swatched. And as always, I apply the swatches over eyeshadow primer and with an eyeshadow brush. My first reaction is some of the colors seem like they may be a little, um, not patchy, but maybe a little powdery. Like you can see the texture on my skin um, more than I usually notice when swatching most other eyeshadows. So let's see how that translates in actual application. And then my second reaction is the difference between the shimmer and the satin shades. I'm a little confused by. They seem to not be very distinct. Not that that really matters too much, but don't think that the satin finish shades will be subtle shimmer versus really shimmering finishes on the shimmer shades. It's that they're not going to have that kind of distinction. Seems like a decent color and definitely smooth in application. Let's see how these apply in a practical everyday eye look. So I was able to create quite a nice everyday look using all six of these shades. I think the positives are that these are very easy to use. They blend very nicely and effortlessly, and there's no sort of harsh um, clinging to the skin to make you do extra work when it comes to buffing or blending. So I think it's not only going to be easy to create an eye look with these, but also fast, so you won't be spending a lot of time in the morning on a look. On the other hand, you're not going to get super strong pigmentation out of most of these shades. They, I would say, have medium, very wearable pigmentation. So again, that contributes to the ease of use, but it also means that you're not gonna get a dramatic punch of any sort of color on any of the shades. The colors will also kind of muddy together. So again, if you want strong definition, you're likely not going to get that out of these shades. I was a little bit surprised by that satin shade called Desert Rose because in the pan it looks like a fairly medium to deep brown shimmering shade. On the lids it has a pretty light quality um, and maybe the shimmer contributes to the shade not looking very deep but don't expect to get that deep rich brown color that you see in the pan onto your lids. It won't translate the same way. It looks fairly close to what I swatched, um, but I think that it, on a small lid space, it will look even less deep in hue. It might be because it's all crumbled and so it's not packed and maybe going onto the brush the way it should be, but I made sure to pick up enough product, so I, I doubt that that's the reason why it looks different on the lids. 
Okay, so there are your six new shades in this new formula from Neutrogena. Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think. Let me know if you will be picking up any of these shades. I hope this was helpful if you were interested. Neutrogena is also releasing some other products like some primers. Um, I think there's a new stick foundation and stick highlighter, things like that. So keep an eye out for those if those interest you too. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.